Hi folks, it's Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm going to tell you all about the 2017 Keystone Sprinter 319 MKS. It's a fantastic travel trailer floor plan, very reminiscent of what you see in a fifth wheel. Let's go ahead and start up front here, we'll make our way back and then head on in. So right up here is a power tongue jack, makes it nice and easy to connect and disconnect from the tow vehicle, just touch of a button to raise the tongue up and down. Also there's a light on here, so if you are connecting or disconnecting at night, that of course will aid you in seeing what you're doing. Right behind the tongue jack is the tray for the battery, and then mounted on the back side here's a battery disconnect. I really like that idea too, that way you don't have to constantly get into your battery box, just flip the disconnect and it kills all the power. The other thing I like they did on Sprinter, take a look right here, these are your two 30 pound propane tanks, but they've actually tucked them behind this front cover. They've built it in uh, to the front cap and I love it. It just gives it a very clean look. Uh, I really like what they did there. Speaking of the front cap, you take a look at that beautiful front cap. That's how you know it's a high-end travel trailer. The front cap, not only does it look great, but it also means less chance for water intrusion, which is always good for you. Let's come right over here. So one of the things you'll notice is the magnetic latch makes it nice and easy. Just pop that right up like so and take a look right in there. You'll see nice big pass-through storage. Um, you know, it goes all the way through, but that's not it. You know, the, there is a, this does get cut off a little bit, but you'll see they more than make up for it on the other side when we go over there. Also, if you want an outside TV, the hookups for it are right in here, so you can go ahead and hook it up, put your TV right over here underneath your power awning. Speaking of power awning, let's take a look at that real quick. Big power awning, touch of a button, that rolls out, touch of a button, rolls back in. Super simple and easy to use also has the Solera speakers built into the head of the awning. So the, what that does is when your awning is extended out, the music plays down on your campsite instead of blasting out at your neighbor, which is really cool. And underneath is an LED light strip, that way you don't have to get up there and hang your Christmas lights. Just flip of a switch and you have the lights right there. Beautiful window right here too I want to add. We'll see that when we go into the bedroom, but that really lets in a lot of light up front. Uh, right here is an electrical outlet, so if you do want to plug anything in, again, right underneath the awning, if you want to have an electric griddle or something out here, set up a table. There is a table that comes with this unit. I'll show you that a little bit later too, uh, but that's nice to have in, in that location. Right here is three steps to get into the coach, aluminum steps, which are awesome. They're not going to rust out on you. You'll see that it also has rubber strips on here. The reason for that is a lot of times aluminum can get kind of slick, uh, you know, if it rains or any kind of morning dew, but with the rubber strips on there, you get plenty of grip, it's nice and easy to get on in, especially with the aid of the easy grab handle right here. Now this sticker is right here, something I like to talk about as well on Sprinter. Uh, a lot of the units out there, you know, they claim that you can do four season camping, you can camp in the winter. Sprinter has actually gone through and tested. They've put their units in an isolated chamber, dropped the temperature down to zero degrees. They had it 74 inside with the furnace running and down below where all your water lines and tanks are where it was 42. So that way you know when it's zero degrees, this unit has been tested, you don't have to worry about everything freezing up on you. So that again is a big deal. Let's shoot underneath real quick here. Take a look there. Uh, these are easy lube axles which is fantastic for the maintenance side of things. Also you have a correct track alignment system. Uh, they're pretty easy to see. They're uh, little yellow tabs kind of on either side. But what those do for you is it's been proven over time that your axles will actually become misaligned and that can be a pain to realign them. You have to cut them, you have to re-weld them. Not the case with the correct track alignment system. You can just bring it right back in. We'll make some quick uh, tweaks and get those right in line for you. Beautiful windows all the way around. Uh, we'll see that a little bit more when we go inside. And then right here too, big rear picture window. So the reason I like that is if you're backed up to a beautiful site, if you have lakefront view, ocean, whatever it may be, you know, uh, Rocky Mountains, you're able to see that right out the back. So very cool. Spare tire mounted on the back. You'll see it has a uh, cover on there as well. That way it's protected from the elements. Uh, right here is your satellite hookup. Detachable power cord right up here. And if you take a look, this is a power jack. This unit has power jacks on it, also has a remote inside. Uh, that's really cool. The remote does a number of things. It'll control your power jacks, controls your power awning, your slides, and the light on the awning as well. All right, let's head right up here. There's a couple other quick things I want to show you before we head in. So on the off-door side right here is a black tank flush. This is really convenient. If you're not familiar with it, what this does for you, when you're breaking down camp, normally you have to take a hose, drag it through the camper, into the bathroom, 
bathroom, put it down the toilet, hold the toilet open, that way you can help wash out the black tank. With the black tank, flush eliminates all of that. All you have to do is take a hose, tie it right in here, and the black tank has sprayers built in, and it just washes the black tank out for you. Really simplifies the process, and that way you don't have to dirty up the RV with a dirty hose. Right here's an outside shower. Uh, that's a great location for it. That way, you know, if you need to rinse off, you can do that, both hot and cold access. The other thing I like about it, take a look right down here. Right there's your terminations. So after you're done dumping, if you want to wash your hands, you have water access right there. So very cool. Then if you come right over here, I had mentioned this a little bit ago. Uh, not only do you have the pass-through storage, but take a look at this one. Magnetic latch. Why don't you go ahead and peek your head in there. Huge storage over here as well. This is underneath the bed inside the uh, RV itself. You have access from this side. You also have access from underneath the bed as that does lift up. And right here is a table that comes with it. So, you know, if you don't have a picnic table at your campsite, you always have one with the Sprinter 319, or you can have a second one whatever it may be, but that's just a really cool feature. All right, it's gonna wrap it up for the outside. Let's go take a look at the inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Keystone Sprinter 319 MKS. This particular model is in the Alder interior. Let's start off right over here. Uh, this is the control panel. It controls all your slides, uh, awning, water heater. And then this is the uh, Camp Easy system that I mentioned when we were outside. So as you can see, you control everything from your um, LED lights to your power awning, your stabilizer jacks, and all of the slides right there. So that can be really advantageous. You can take that remote outside, be able to open up your slides, your awning, make sure you're not gonna hit anything. So very cool system. Also, tucked away right under here, not only do we have huge countertops, which we'll get to when we talk about the kitchen, but look at all that storage underneath. Massive storage there, which is awesome. But let's start off in a super slide right over here. All right, so you'll see that uh, large slide, you have the freestanding table and chairs right there, which I like in this floor plan. Uh, you have cou a couch that folds out into a bed for sleeping, which I'll show you in a little bit. So my opinion, you don't really need the dinette. I like the freestanding table and chairs. Gives you more room, gives it a, a, a more upscale look as well and if you open this up you'll see that all the chairs have a little bit of storage right underneath big windows all the way around here let in a ton of natural light so during the daytime it's absolutely gorgeous during the nighttime you have LED lights throughout the entire coach so it's gonna stay nice and bright and it uses a fraction of the energy that your incandescent bulbs do right here this is the best seat in the house in my opinion theater seating I love having this in a coach straight across to the TV as I mentioned this is something you see in a lot of your rear living fifth wheel floor plans, but you don't see it very often in a travel trailer. So I love that they did it. You can kick your feet up, you know, relax. You have some cup holders here, reading lights if you want to read, but just awesome seating right there. And then in the back, take a look at this big couch right here. This is a tri-fold sofa. Uh, what that should mean to you is that not only is this comfortable to sit on, it's comfortable to sleep on for your guests. Not that you have to let guests stay, but if you do, you know they're going to have a good night's rest because this unlike your traditional pullouts or they don't have a big bar in the back you know this little floppy cushion they don't have to worry about waking up on a deflated air mattress this really makes into a comfortable sleeping space and on both sides you will see you have great sh um, shelving right there as well excellent end tables so if they want to have drinks you know work on an iPad set it down they have plugins there too so they can plug in their iPad plug in their laptop whatever you want storage all across the top of that as well so excellent uh, storage Storage. They really utilize the space. Then in our off door slide, you can see right over here, you know, dual opposing slides. Check how much how, how much floor space you have here. That's because you have dual opposing slides, which is awesome. This is your entertainment area, 40 inch LED TV, so you can easily see it from anywhere in the coach, especially in the theater seating. You don't have to crane your head. Uh, sound bar underneath for superior sound quality. Also, you have a little cutout right there and additional storage right down here here. As we move over a little bit further, we'll step into our kitchen and galley area. Go ahead and open this guy up. This is our uh, Dometic fridge freezer. You saw the stainless steel panels on there. Uh, you know, this is a great fridge freezer. You have plenty of space in here, which is awesome. And it runs off LP, also uh, electric, and has automatic switchover. So let's take a look right over here. So one of the cool things when you have the dual opposing slides means you can get a center island or in this case a peninsula. 
and take a look at all the prep space a ton of prep space on here which is phenomenal and then right above you don't have to worry about lighting you have a skylight right here here during the day and directional lighting at night so very cool they made it nice and bright so as you're prepping your food you can see what you're doing now want a big sink they give you a big sink sink top cover on there as well so you can use this for prep surface or flip it over use it as a cutting board and then this is American stone cast sink uh, if you're not familiar with it this is actually an upgrade over stainless steel now in some of your you know three million dollar homes that have stainless steel sinks yes it's a very low gauge high quality stainless steel sink but that's usually not what you get in the RV so having this American stone cast is definitely an upgrade it doesn't scratch nearly as easily it won't burn uh, fantastic sink to have and on top of that right here you have a pull out uh, faucet which makes it really nice and easy to do your dishes Let's take a look underneath here when you have big countertops you have big storage underneath so a little drop down tray right there for sponges open this up right here you know what I'd put there a trash can plenty of space great storage great room and then right under here again extra storage space all the way around last but not least I'll open this guy up take a look at that full extension ball bearing drawer so you know you can fit a ton of stuff in there obviously as I mentioned great prep space here some plug-ins perfect spot for a coffee maker you have a plug-in right there a couple USB ports light up top makes it nice and bright and right here you have additional pantry space not only do you have that pantry but right here you can see you have the beautiful etched glass open this up and take a look huge pantry space in there too so that's perfect for larger items if you have big boxes of cereal um, you know or really whatever else you're able to fit it right in there Last but not least, across the way right here, uh, again, you have good prep space, or if you wanna put your coffee maker over here, you can do that too, plug in right there. You have the decorative backsplash on here, three burner Atwood cooktop, and the front one is high output. An oven up front, so if you do want to uh, bake anything, you can certainly do that. And a nice big drawer underneath, perfect for pots and pans. Then you have a bank of three drawers right here. In my opinion, this is where I'd put the silverware myself, but you know, you can put it over here if you want. But a bank of three drawers for uh, everything you need to store in the kitchen. And then fully functional uh, hood, this is stainless, has a light and a, a vent in it. And then right here is the microwave. All right, folks, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for the back half. I know it's been great so far. Stay with me, let's head up front. We'll take a look at the bathroom and bedroom. The bathroom with a 319 will have two entrances and exits, one into the main living area, the other into the bedroom. Then right down in the corner here's the porcelain foot flush lever toilet with plenty of leg room all the way around. Right over here is the shower. I love the shower in this coach. Open it up for you here. You can see you have plenty of space. Uh, great shelving, the hand wand makes it nice and easy to wash off. And a big skylight up top lets in a lot of that natural light, gives you additional headroom. Also, the door system, the reason I like this, when you do open it up, it stays in this roller track. That way all the water stays in the shower pan, doesn't dump all over the floor. Right over here is the mirrored medicine cabinet. You'll notice storage right there. And then right below is the countertop and sink with additional vanity storage there. All right, let's head on into the bedroom. The bedroom with the 319 features a residential size 60 by 80 queen bed. That way if you are a taller person, you don't have to worry about your feet hanging off. And if you ever need to replace the mattress, you can do so with a standard mattress. Uh, on the sides of the bed, you'll see excellent shelving space. So if you need to charge a cell phone or have a glass of water, you can do that and excellent storage up top. In the nose right here is your wardrobe. You can see great hanging space as well as a shelf up top. And if you want washer and dryer in this unit, it is prepped for it right here. Also on this side, You'll notice great additional space, excellent shelving right there. Storage underneath, I like this. I think it's a perfect spot for dirty clothes or really whatever else you wanna put in there. Then at the foot of the bed right here, you have a chest of drawers, great drawer space. You can see how wide this is. The reason for that is because this unit is actually a hundred inch wide. Sprinter uses a wide body frame that a lot of manufacturers don't. And it's four inches wider, which may not seem like a lot, but in a lot of places, like your hallway you know things like this this just makes it a lot more usable if you could imagine shaving four inches off here this would be almost useless so having that extra wide frame is very
very advantageous. Also, this big, beautiful window I showed you when we were outside lets in a ton of natural light. And if you do want TV, the hookups will be right here. Also, this unit's prepped for a second AC. Uh, you can see currently there is a vent fan in here, so if you want to open up the window, get a draft, you can do that. But if you are going to be down south where it's really hot all the time, you can install a second AC in this unit. All right, folks, that's pretty much going to wrap it up. Uh, again, this is the 2017 Keystone Sprinter 319 MKS in the Alder interior. I absolutely love this floor plan for a travel trailer. You get the theater seating straight across in the TV, the trifold sofa, which is great for sleeping, entertaining. You have the big galley kitchen with a ton of prep space, a ton of storage. Great room here in the bedroom. This really is one you want to come and take a look at. If you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those in the section below or you can always give myself Ian Baker a call here at American RV and I'll be happy to answer that way as well. If you're looking for particular uh, questions on specs of this unit such as weight or length or if you're looking for price and availability I recommend you visit our website which is AmericanRV.com for the most up-to-date information. Thanks again for watching I'm Ian Baker and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.